Now, last night I was woefully lacking in melatonin, aka I didn't sleep, so here we are again. Alanine, the next simplest boy after glycine. Now our boy alanine is only slightly more complex than glycine. Here's its side chain, which instead of being a hydrogen like it is in glycine, is a methyl group, which contains one carbon and three hydrogens. This means it's nonpolar, since a methyl group isn't gonna be either positive or negative, it's, it's pretty neutral. Now alanine is classified as aliphatic. What's that you say? Well, all hydrocarbons, meaning that they are made of hydrogens and carbons, are split into either aliphatic or or aromatic groups. Aromatic being the ones we mentioned before. They contain stable rings. Now, aliphatics are basically the non-aromatics. They're kind of the leftovers, according to Google at least. They do have rings, just not the type of rings that aromatics have. Kind of confusing, I know. Aliphatics are mostly synthesized from alkane, which is why alanine is under the alkyl group. Alanine can be synthesized in our body, meaning it's a non-essential amino acid, and it's common in alpha helices, unlike glycine and proline. The particular entropy property, or something like that on Google, states that alanine has an ent entropy property that is favorable for it to be included in alpha helices. Now, when I was researching for this video, I thought, I'm going to I'm find going so, to find many, so cool many cool facts about, about alanine being in proteins. Being pro but no, that didn't happen. What I found was a bunch of cool facts about alanine that had nothing to do with proteins, but nonetheless are related to our body. So without further ado, I present to you a series of fun facts about alanine I didn't know before researching this video. Fun fact 1. Alanine actually helps the body digest, or metabolize, tryptophan and vitamin B6. That's right, one amino acid can digest another amino acid. Normally. Fun fact number two, alanine is actually considered to be one of the earliest amino acids to evolve, which is why there's something called the alanine world hypothesis, which states that the development of other amino acids along with the genetic code system was developed with alanine as its scaffold. Fun fact number three, the glucose alanine cycle. Now, you know how you eat protein and it gives you calories? Well, that's because sometimes your body breaks down amino acids for fuel instead of using it to make other proteins. This can be seen in something called the glucose alanine cycle, which is a cycle between your skeletal muscles and your liver. Now, your muscles, which I'm sadly lacking in, will sometimes break down amino acids for energy, and pyruvate gets kind of converted to alanine when it goes to the liver and does some reshuffling to recycle the molecules. And that's why alanine is seen in high concentrations in your muscles. Fun fact number four, deamination of alanine creates a free radical. Now what's deamination? Deamination basically means you're taking the amine group away from a molecule. <laughs> and in this process, alanine becomes a free radical. What's a free radical? A free radical basically means that it has eight electrons instead. Now this makes alanine upset. Alanine's like, but, but, but give me my amine group back. Because And these free radicals are super reactive and they basically go on a rampage and they can damage DNA, RNA, proteins, lipids, all sorts of important molecules for your body. So free radicals are not good. And that was alanine. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!